Hey, welcome back. In this video, what we're going to be doing, the Mad Hatter Wood Spirit. Another walking stick. Um, I like the way the last wood spirit that we did uh, had a nice top to it. Uh, same, similar wood, probably uh, from the same type of tree. So you have a lot of these little dark spots, uh, some spalting. So it really makes a nice contrast with the wood. And I decided to make another wood spirit. I had so much fun carving that last one. Um, did that. Another little power cord wrap. A little something different. Some cross hatch pattern halfway through. Show you how we just scratched that out. Filled in a few, uh, few knot holes here as well with uh, the epoxy. Same as we did up top here. Just a little red. Hopefully you can see that in the light. Really stands out. All the way down to a little rubber foot at the end. Tapered that down. Filled it in with some epoxy here and there. A little red tint. Nice contrast. This one came out beautiful. Hope you enjoy the video on how this one was made. And if you like it, please hit the subscribe button and uh, notification. You'll let, uh, we got a few more lined up. I got two more sticks drying in the, in the garage from the recent walk. One's quite a, quite a large one. Uh, hopefully do something special with that. But until then, hope you enjoy this one. Afternoon, everybody, again. We have found ourselves another stick. Another little walking stick. This one... Uh, Again, found it on a little walk during a trek through the forest. Took off the bark, or at least the majority of it, and let it dry now for quite a few months. It's nice, lightweight, relatively straight, still a little bit of bark on it. We've got to sand all this down, take out all the little branches. But the wood looks like it's got uh, nice coloration. Couldn't tell you what type of wood it is. Here, right around where the handle's going to be, has that knot. We're going to sand that down, see uh, see if it's hollow. Maybe fill that in. And then, uh, I think up here, perhaps we're going to do, uh, I don't know, another wood spirit? I think it's got enough thickness to it. We're looking uh, maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half maybe diameter. So we'll see what we can do with it. Stick, stay tuned and uh, hope this one comes out. I've been working away at this uh, at that knot right by the handle seems to be rounding over nicely relatively solid um, not chipping out too much so I think that'll sand out nicely if I just keep working at it a little bit a little bit of sanding uh, I find this sure form works pretty well taking taking things off I think with a little bit of sanding, that'll be uh, that'll be a nice transition point between the handle and uh, what we're going to do up top. So let's keep at it. So as I kept working at that knot, I figured something was coming loose. Let's see if I can 
get that better for it. Yeah. So that branch came out. It's not too bad. Uh, dug it out with a knife, got most of it out of it. And what we'll do is, uh, like the other videos, we'll fill that in with a little colored epoxy. I think I'm going to go with red again. Let's mix that up, fill that in, and keep There you have it. We dug it out, filled it in just with your regular five minute epoxy tinted with a little bit of red acrylic. Just one drop of that, filled it in. Now we'll let it dry, see what comes out of it. All right, I want to share a little update. So we trimmed it down, and that's the epoxy fill all, uh, all sanded down. There was two other little spots down at the bottom. One was a small knot. It was a little punky, so scraped that out. Also filled it. And there was a little flat spot. There you go, in focus. Just filled it in with the same red. Uh, what I want to do is trim down the base to put the uh, foot on. But wanted to share, everything's been sanded down. We trimmed a little bit more uh, where the handle is because I'm going to do a cord wrap so I took this all down uh, it's maybe now a little over an inch uh, in diameter what I used was a microplane I don't know if anyone's ever uh, here let me see if I can get that microplane there this shaves off beautifully uh, especially for in the round like this I just made myself a custom handle here uh, to be able to hold it a little bit better, but this trims down very quickly. So I was able to take this down and some of the bumps, uh, like you see there, I rounded it just a little bit more. You see where the coloration changes. Uh, let's see if I can get that in focus for you. There you go. Um, and then we sent it down uh, with some 80 grit and 150. Uh, there's still some more sanding to do, but we'll do that afterwards. So I have a rubber foot here, so we just need to measure the inside. Um, I also have a pair of calipers, and that works. Some people don't have calipers, so what you can do is uh, get yourself a, uh, I don't know, can you see that nicely? It's just a circle template, um, standard cir circle template. This one's an imperial, and uh, you just keep, you know, placing them over the, the opening. And this one here will fit a 15 sixteenths. That's the inside diameter. So what you do is you take this template, put it at the bottom of your stick, trace that, and you know what to uh, carve down the stick to make make the uh, foot fit. So that's what I'm going to do here. And uh, just want to give you All an right, So I wanted to show you uh, how the microplane was going to work. Uh, so we traced out the 15 16 hole, uh, or the, the diameter of the inside of the foot, and uh, we'll just shave that down. So we pretty much got the details down on this little wood spirit. I'm going to call this one the Mad Hatter. We are going to cut it probably somewhere around, right around here of the total top. Just to get a uh, sort of a top hat looking. I think this one came out pretty good. Beard came out nice. There you go. A little bit of sanding to do. 
I think that's going to turn out all right. Let's cut the top off, see what it looks like. So the stick's coming along well. Everything's getting sanded. But just below this spot is where we're going to do a cord wrap. I wanted to add a little more detail. So what I've done is I've drawn in a crosshatch pattern all the way around. And what we're going to do is we're going to file that. Um, file that down just with triangular file. Make a few notches in there. Uh, we may go smaller, we may divide each space by two, but we'll see how it goes. So it looks like we're going to be ready for some finish. Everything's been sanded down nicely. Here's that uh, just a little crosshatch pattern we were talking about. Just a small section, maybe 12 inches long total. Going down to the bottom. So we're just going to apply uh, some nice teak oil. Big change of color. Nice. See that inlay also pop out. So there you have it with a nice coat of teak oil on it. Made the epoxy pop. Look at that grain even down the back. Made the uh, crosshatch pattern pop out. Really nice grain on this. Nice coloration. Looks beautiful. Really came out nice. All the way to the base. So we're going to let that dry, probably put on another coat. Maybe a wax f finish, and then we'll work on the cord wrap. I'll call this one done. We're getting there. So what we've done is uh, the two coats of the power cord, uh, of the teak oil. What we're going to do now is the uh, power cord wrap. So we establish where the handle is going to be. Uh, just put it into a clamp here so it's a little stable and keeps my hands free. So you just take your length, uh, just melt it at the end. Pass it around. Over itself. And through that little loop. What it does is a little half knot. Snug things up. It'll feel a bit loose at the moment. You have to keep tension here. If you loosen this up, eventually this will start to loosen up on you. So you might have to just tighten it up a little bit at the beginning until you get a few wraps around. Then you make yourself a loop. I'll see if I can let go. So you just make yourself a loop. Pass it through. Got a bit of length here, so bear with me. So you're passing it through itself. You're making just a little half knot. Like I say, the first few at the beginning are going to be a bit loose. So you have to keep holding tension on it. And just keep repeating this process. You can do a bunch of half, half knots all the way through. And we're going to create that spiral wrap that you saw on 
the first wood spirit walking stick. I explained it in detail. And what we're going to do again here, it's a beautiful wrap. It comes out nice when you have, uh, I don't know, about six inches, six to eight inches of handle. Comes out beautifully. So let me do a few and we'll start to see that little uh, diagonal form. Hang in there. So I've done maybe an inch, inch and a half. And you see that spiral. The smaller your diameter, the more spirals you're going to get around. Um, the last one we had was a bit thicker, so the spiral was stretched out a bit, but this one's going to come out nice. So you start seeing that pattern coming through. Makes a really nice tight handle. Um, I think it looks beautiful on it. Simple to do. A um, couple of minutes you'll be able to get the whole length. So stick around. We'll see that uh, continue on. Thanks. Okay, so we've reached the end of the wrap. It's a, it's a good handhold. It's about the size of the hand. A little bit extra, half inch maybe top and bottom. Tighten it up as much as you can. Take a knife. Cut it off short. What we'll do is we'll melt it down. Form a lock. So, just take a... Regular lighter, melt that tip down, something metal, if you can lock it back on itself. That's a great way to uh, make sure everything stays in place. Nice. Yeah, that worked out nice. Alright, turn it here a bit. What we're going to do is the same thing up top here. Last time I left, uh, I did a half knot on this and left it. But this time here, I'm going to melt it down. Same as we did the bottom. Uh, let's see if I can cut this. Probably in your, in the camera's view, but I think you get the idea. And I think it's time to change the blade on the knife. Might be a better idea than trying to cut this, but... Definitely time to change that blade. But we'll get there. So we melt that down. Make a little bit more. Careful what you're hitting. Ah, there we go. Nice lock there. Take it out of a clamp for you, and there you go. You see the uh, the nice spiral we were talking about. It makes a nice visual interest. Also, when you're walking, it gives you a little grip. You end up uh, looping a finger around it somewhere. So, what do we got? We have the uh, Mad Hatter. That's what I'm calling this one, the Mad Hatter walking stick. A uh, little wood spirit. Came out nice. Uh, the wood, of course, helps. All the nice grain patterns on it. Come down to a uh, spiral cord wrap, power cord wrap. We see here the uh, little epoxy inlay. That came out nice. Filled in that uh, sort of branch that was coming out. It was a little punky. We were able to scrape it out with a knife. That came out beautiful. The grain, of course, helped out. Here we did a little uh, crosshatch pattern. We just sort of scraped that in with, uh, with a V-file. Oh, or your regular chainsaw file, basically the triangular shape. Makes a nice indent and it brought out some of the grain pattern. Just a little visual interest. Uh, breaks up the, uh, the stick a bit. 
Not that with this grain you really need a lot of uh, a lot of distraction. Came out nice. All the way down a few other little holes that we filled in with epoxy. You see that one nicely. The red really stands out. Gives a good contrast. All the way down to the uh, rubber foot. This one came out beautiful. Uh, nice lighter weight. And uh, I like this little guy. I like his little top hat. You even see, uh, I don't know if you can see that, that beautiful grain even on top. Hopefully that, that came in with uh, focus. Really, really comes out beautiful. Thanks for watching.